Hey, howdy everyone, Monster here, back in action for more Prosecutor's Path. Uh, case 2, I forgot the name of it, something turnabout. <laughs> but yeah, it's been pretty fun, we just got to see two new characters be introduced right away. Someone being uh, put into a disciplinary cell, and a murder afoot as Knightley is dead in the detention center. Where will we go up to next? I do not know, but this should be interesting, no? March 28th, 9.45 a.m. High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202, i.e. the next day. Mr. Edgeworth, just what happened yesterday? Those two people, their attitude was just unforgivable. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I'm here to clean up the mess you made. The Prosecutional Investigation Committee has decreed that you'll be taken off the case. And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. Judge Courtney and Mr. DeBeste. They were certainly ruthless. But what I'm more concerned about is... Just what is the PIC thinking? I'm worried about what they will do from here on. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth! Are you listening to me? Yes, I am listening. You're not going to give up on this case, are you? No, I don't plan on backing down. Not with the current situation as it is. If I were to slightly stand by, and that would only validate their claims. I no longer have investigation rights. What should I do now? What is it, Detective Gumshoe? B bad news, sir! I, I heard something, uh, down at the precinct. It sounds like they've already arrested a suspect in this of this case. What? Who is it? I don't know yet, sir. But if we go down to the detention center, we could ask. Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. I can't investigate. Meeting with the suspect should not be an issue. All right. We're heading uh, over to the detention center right now. I'll also head over uh, on the double, sir. Detective... Uh, wouldn't that interfere with your job? I gotta investigate the scene of the crime anyway, so it should be okay, sir. All right, we'll meet up with you there. Roger, sir. Let's go, okay. Okay. March 28th, 10.23 a.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. He's not coming, is he? He's not. It's happening all over again! Don't joke about that. No way, I mean it! It's not happening! Yes, it's happening, alright. That's just someone here, uh, there's just someone here to talk to you. Hmm. That sounds like a pretty screechy voice, huh? No way, no way, no way, no way! Don't be so stubborn! But our prosecutor's crazy scary or something! Always giving it to me a death glare! Um, pardon me? But would you happen to be a suspect? <laughs> I knew it! Hey, why does this man seem to s so distressed? Well, because you're, uh, you? Doesn't help me at all. Hello, Mr. Suspect! Would you mind talking to us for a little bit? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. Well, it's just a part-time job. I'm just taking a vacation from my real job. I don't remember hiring you. This is Mr. Edgeworth. 
He's a prosecutor, but he's not as stri uh, scary as he looks, so it's okay. Hmm. Rude. <laughs> really? Really, really? Really. <laughs> anyway, can you tell us your name, Mr. Suspect? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Simon Keys. Nice to meet you, Simon. You call me Kay, Kay? I am Miles Edgeworth, a prosecutor. I would appreciate a word with you. <gasps> Please, it's for your own good, Simon. Really? Finally. Looks like I'll be able to get something out of him. Thanks to Kay. Let's present... Prosecutor badge. No way it's really possible! There's no way I could be a prosecutor! Even if you give that to me! That was never my intention. So are you going to arrest me? Am I going to trial? No objections, your honor! There is an objection. Please calm down. Simon Keys. First, I'd like you to tell me a little more about yourself. No way, not that! I couldn't do that! Impossible! I'm not worthy! There's nothing interesting about me! Your occupation? No way, not that! It's too big! Deal! Honest! Yeah, I'll just ring their plate! The grief. Lawrence Knightley? About the victim, Knightley. I don't think he's going to talk to me about this. Okay? Simon, do you know Mr. Knightley uh, from somewhere? Knightley? Yeah, I, I did. He was uh, a friend. A friend? So did he know that Knightley was arrested? You know that Mr. Knightley was arrested? Yeah, I came here to meet him. Oh, he visited the detention center too. When was that? When did you visit him here? It was two days ago, in the afternoon. I received a call from the police, so I came over right away. From the police? Why do you get a call from the police? It was a request from Knightley. He had a message for me. A message? Yeah, he wanted me to bring him his pocket-sized uh, chessboard. So I retrieved it from his house and came here to give it to him. Did he say chessboard? Did you say chessboard? Is Kay stealing my thoughts? No, Mr. Edgeworth, it's just written on your face. <laughs> we were just guessing from your facial expressions. See, I could be a useful assistant, right? So, do you know what we need to do next? You bet! We gotta show that to Simon, right? Correct. Let's present it and see how he reacts. Present. Presento. Chest board. Do you recognize this chessboard? Oh, that's Knightley's! This is I thought. Well, Simon didn't bring it. This was found near Mr. Knightley's corpse. He always carried a chessboard with him. It's just like him to have one until his last breath! It sounds like you two were really close, Simon. Yeah, we were best friends. At least, I thought we were. But maybe I was wrong. Huh? Because I never imagined you would murder someone. Having someone close to you turn out to be a murderer. The other can be so cruel. Yeah. I've had a similar situation happen. Was it a murder? But if you're familiar with this channel, or, or me for quite some time... Yeah, you'll know. And, uh... It's definitely shaking. 
it shakes your perception of the world in the way that they are. And, uh, I'm fine with it now, but it's definitely was a very big shakeup having to learn these things. So, yeah. I kind of get where he's coming from. That's something most people could easily accept. I never imagined he would part ways like this. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, something's definitely strange here. There's no way Simon could have killed Mr. Knightley. Indeed. I certainly can't see a motive at all. However, the fact remains that he was the one who was arrested on that charge. Just what was the justification for doing so? So why were you arrested? I guess we still won't respond to me. Well, I don't know. Looks like he's finally warming up to you. That's great help. This morning, a police officer barged into my house. And before I knew it, he brought me here. Was there a prosecutor accompanying him at that time? At that time? I remember a prosecutor called D uh, Best or something was there to it. So was that rookie prosecutor? Then I guess the police haven't dragged you into questioning yet, huh? Are the police going to interrogate me? Yep, that's right. Because you're the suspect. No, wait, 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 no, wait. Are detectives like crazy abusive or something? They are. Dead ass, they are. Always bossing you around with their big bodies. That the gumshoe was on the scene. <laughs> I knew it. Please don't beat me with your thick arms. <laughs> like, I want to say he's a twink. Or, or like something in that foot. Because, like, it definitely seems like this man takes it. You feel me? There's no way this, this dude is straight. I can't take it anymore. So I'm call the police. What's gone into him, sir? Well, it's because you're... you, detective. Huh? I don't get it, sir. You know Simon has to be innocent, Mr. Edgeworth. Can we do something? Simon Keys. <laughs> yes? You are Mr. Knightley's best friend. You only just met with him two days ago. You say you didn't kill him? Are you certain about this? Yes, I am! I wouldn't hurt a harm a fly! I see, that's enough of me. I shall offer my assistance in providing your innocence. What's the point of the little of me? It's not just for you. In this case, I have a personal stake in as well. That's right! We gotta get back at those two from yesterday. Yeah! Well, I'm fired up, sir! But I don't have any investigational uh, rights at the moment. Since I won't be able to obtain information myself, your role is most vital. Should we can rely on you to fill in any holes in the information we have? Help us help you. That's all I ask. Ah, I just have an idea. Oh, why don't you just borrow what the defense attorney's bad, sir? Come on, there's no way Mr. Edgeworth could do that. This isn't time to be joking around. <laughs> but I wasn't joking. Helping the suspect is the defense attorney's job, pal. Jeez, don't worry about that. It doesn't matter what Mr. Edgeworth's job is. All we gotta do is find the real murderer. So let's get moving. Okay, pal. I'm sure you understand, but the investigation results prove that you are the murderer. No hard feelings, but I will show no mercy. 
but you don't need to be scared. I believe in your story. At least for now. All you need to do is believe in us and wait patiently. There's nothing to fear. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. March 28th, 11.22 a.m. Detention Center, hallway. Eat free, live free in prison. So we're all fired up and ready to go. We still can't enter the part of the prison where the murder occurred. You can't investigate. The only thing we could do now is defend them in court, sir. How are we supposed to do that? We can't. Huh? If it isn't Prosecute Edgeworth and his merry gang, what are you doing here? Did you come here to arrest a Mr. Edgeworth again, pal? <laughs> what are you talking about, big guy? Uncle Ray's just here to do his job. Your job? Oh, yeah. You're a defense attorney, right? Okay, you're as cuteful as ever. Cuteful? I might not look like it. I might not look like it. But your Uncle Ray's a uh, hot shot at defense attorney. I'm here to meet with a new client today. What was his name again? Uh, Shy Monkeys or something. What? You mean Simon Keys? That's it! Kay, looks like you know the deal! Mr. Edgeworth, he's a defense attorney! He thought as much. Guess we have no choice but to resort to that method. In the past, whenever I had to investigate cases I was not placed in charge of, I was able to gain access by becoming a subordinate to whoever was in charge. Not my preferred option, but the only one I have now. Mr. Shields, if I may ask. By the way, I don't take on sidekicks. I refuse to take on male assistants who lack charm. Especially someone who was like a son to Van Common. Mr. Shields, as I thought. Don't forgive me so easily. Mr. Shields, I understand that you cannot forgive me for what I've done. I'm also fully aware of your hatred towards those involved with Von Carmen. I don't know if you'll believe me, but... I am no longer the same as I was back then. Back when I idolized Van Carmen. Yeah, pal! Miss Edgeworth is a changed man! Sure, you may have been cruel, uh, inhuman prosecutor in the past. But now, he is completely different, pal. You put it that bluntly, kind of hurts. That's right! Mr. Edgeworth's not a bad guy anymore. I wouldn't even call him a prosecutor. He's more like, um, um, a hero, yeah. He even helped me out in a big case last month. A hero? That's some pretty big talk then, Missy. It's a, he's a magnificent hero, although he'd be no match for a great thief like me. Mr. Shields, don't the actions of the PIC appear strange to you? I believe there may be something else hidden behind this case. Can't afford to wait at this juncture. Please let me help you with the investigation. I am begging you. I never expected you to grovel like this. It sure looks like you changed, all right. And I'm kind of interested in the case in a cause like of of. And I'm kind of interested in the cause of all this. You're interested in what changed me. I had to say it would probably be the courtroom itself. All the experience I've had and all the people I met inside the courtroom. And perhaps, reuniting with my old friends. <laughs> I never expected all the, all the people to change. Who would have thought that you'd oh, lay open your heart like that? 
I'm sure that man would be surprised as well. Yes, I can't turn you away. May you be a long overdue, but allow me to properly reintroduce myself. You would be so kind as to read this. Edgeworth Law Office's Raymond Shields head attorney. Edgeworth? Mrs. Shields was an assistant to my deceased father. Gregory Edgeworth. Really? Your father was a defense attorney? So that means that man, Mr. Shield talked about his Correct, my cute little gay. The prosecutor edge was old man. Never changed the name of the firm. My way of showing my appreciation for his help. Prosecutor Edgeworth. No, wait. Miles. Uncle Ray doesn't fully trust you just yet. May have been temporary, but the fact remains. You were once a disciple of Van Common. You say that you changed, but you'll need to prove it. In the meaning of your actions. Even your old man would have wanted it this way. Yes, I understand. All right, I'm getting tired of this old stuff you talk. So let's give it a rest and move on. But now I'll make you my temporary assistant. How does that sound? I'm sorry to trouble you. But this outcome is kind of moving, yeah? <laughs> the prodigal son returns to work at his late father's law firm. What about me? What about me? Of course you can help too, Kay. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Shields. I mean, boss. Now then, let's get right to work. Let's see. First off, uh, what do you think we should do, Miles? That's right. Have some unfinished business yesterday. And so it wasn't the victim. But rather it was the first person to discover the body who screamed. Why don't we find them and listen to what they have to say? Yeah, that's it. Uncle Ray thinks so too. Hmm. Upbeat as always. Okay, with that aside, let's hurry up and grill him. Um, sir, what am I supposed to do? Detectives can't help defense attorneys. Hmm. Can't just leave him be. Detective, I will give you a special assignment. I want you to assist Mr. DeBest in his investigation and follow his orders. And then, if you discover anything useful, I want you to share it with us. Detective, this is a job that only you can do. Can we count on you? <laughs> yes, sir. Leave it to me. I'm really good at leaking inf <laughs> investigation reports to a defense attorneys. Well, that would be a problem for me, but it may come in handy this time. <laughs> He's so happy about himself. But you're not good at your job. All right, let's get moving, shall we? Time to go to jail. March 28th, 11.50 a.m. Prison hallway. Now then, where's the person who first discovered the body? And now all we could do is ask around. Hold it right there. Who is this woman? Um, excuse me, but... Oh, you are simply irresistible! Huh, do you mean me? Very nice, very nice indeed. What an elegant mustache. It's a pleasure to meet you, mademoiselle. Defense attorney, uh, Ray Shields, at your service. How about we exchange uh, greetings with a hug? Oh, 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 but of course! <laughs> Look who raise lips! Proper greeting should begin with a hug 
man, a kiss. It's almost like it was stolen from him. Yes, a remarkable feat of quickness that would put a great thief to shame. I feel that close combat is very important. This goes for my family here in my home as well. What a splendid way of thinking are uh, there. <laughs> I'm the warden. Patricia Rowland. But please, just call me Patty. The warden. So she's in charge of the prison and detention center. Nice to meet you. I am Miles Edgeworth. I am a pros- I mean, Mr. Shield's assistant. Pardon me for asking, but were you here in the prison yesterday? Oh, but of course! Yesterday was a day that I wouldn't have missed for the world. Wouldn't have missed for the world. Do you have some kind of important meeting? Oh, heavens no! I despise meetings! It was the animal show, of course. A wonderful spectacle featuring animals dancing and flying through the air. I always see it along with everyone else in our home. One big happy family. We built a special stage in our courtyard just for this performance. A performance for the prisoner's enjoyment. Yesterday, El Bud mentioned some kind of recreation. Because the animal show was what he was referring to? When did the show take place? It started at 8 a.m. and ended around 10 a.m.? Exactly when the body was discovered. So whoever saw the show would probably have an alibi. Now if you excuse me, I must be going. I have business to attend to. Please take your time and have a look around our home. So where should we start, Mr. Edgeworth? There was a prisoner who heard the scream from the person who discovered... From the first per uh, discovered... There was a prisoner who heard the scream from the person who first discovered the body. Let's start by talking with him. I mean, we can, but... Yeah, what's up? Notice anything? Okay. Can we talk to... Yus? Oh, go raise lips! You seem to be quite in quite a shock. Is it more than Roland the type uh, of beauty Mr. Shields likes? A hug is a greeting, but a kiss is a whole different level. Uncle Ray needs time to mentally prepare himself. I didn't think he would be such a side guy, Mr. Uh, Shields. Somehow, I don't think that's the problem here. Assistant's job, then. Hey, Miles, about your face. Can you loosen it up a bit? Since you're going to be Uncle Ray's assistant, you'll need to uh, smile more. Being assistant and smiling more have uh, nothing to do with one another. That's not true! A smile is the first step to building trust with a client. A show a refreshing smile to put them at ease, and then give a wink to capture the heart. And with a hug and exchange business cards, and that's how you open a client's heart. Let's just keep that to ourselves, please. Well, managing the law firm was quite tough at first. It was typical in hair and the business from Gregory. Is that so? What kind of requests do you usually receive at the office? Mm, usually requests up to defend the suspects in murder cases and various sorts of legal counsel. Well, our basic policy was we welcome everybody. Do you ever have to turn down any requests? Well, if the client wasn't cute enough. I thought everyone was welcome! I'm kidding! And <laughs> that was a joke. We accept clients of all sorts. But Gregory's name on the line. I'm doing a half-hearted job. The edge of law offices. The law firm that my father built. Okay. 
And there's a burb here. Why is there a burb in jail? Why a burb? Talk to the pony. Mm, they even have a pony. Your kids could ride it. How nice! It's like a zoo! Although it's the humans who are treated like animals in here. You think they'd find out if I took one home with me? I think that if you did that, you'd be the one behind bars. I mean, technically, that's uh, that's correct, yes. Can I see this? Some information here about the prisoner of the cell. Let's see. Inmate number D259. Species, C cell on right. That's a shoddy ex- Oh, that's a shoddy explanation. His partner is Rocky the Polar Bear. He is a former boxer and enjoys training to lose weight. His muscles are tough. But he's a big softy. He's an omnivore, so it says. Who is this information full? They literally are treated, being treated like zoo animals. Are you for real? They ain't no one gonna oink oink zoo pals on them. No one's here. This person was taken to the disciplinary, uh, disciplinary room. I wonder when uh, he'll be back. Who knows? Sure, he, uh, he won't be allowed to return so easily. He was on the verge of tears. He really didn't want to go. Indeed, he, his reaction was quite extreme. Wonder, what sort of punishment awaits him? Well, considering the fact that solitary confinement, in any given form that is in prison so far, is just deliberately bad and inhumane. Says a lot. So, I gotta imagine it's a bit more of a goofy reason than that. But who knows? Who knows? Hey, something's written here. Yes, it's some information about this uh, inmate. Inmate number 2 258, Confidence Brutus. Despite his ferocious appearance, he is a herbivore. His partner is Gwen the Penguin. He has good acting skills and a great stage presence. He delivers powerful testimonies. So it says... It's just the one of those information signs at the zoo? Yes, it, it, it clearly is. The pot belly pig. Let's hope it doesn't become dinner. How nice! It's like a zoo! Though it's the humans who are treated like animals in here. You think they'll find out if I took one home with me? I think that if you did that, you'd be the one behind bars. And there's monkey! <laughs> there's a monkey on the hill, Mr. Edgeworth! Probably appropriate spectacle, spectacle for prison. When you see stuff like this, you can really feel the tension rise. I hope you're not expecting me to agree with you. Also, Kay, just so we're clear, I don't want to see you climbing that hill. But someone's gotta show that monkey his boss! <laughs> I love Kay so much. I love her so much. Don't provoke the monkey. This is a ballad. And we have Rabbit. Let's talk to Bun. What's a rabbit doing here? Well, stepped on it. How nice! It's like a zoo! Okay, they're just saying the same thing over and over again. I can't believe they let my friend's girlfriend in here. This is ridiculous, really. Why? Did, what did she do deserve to get in prison? Where does this door lead to? Don't you feel some strange vibes coming from that door? Maybe they got a deadly criminal locked up inside. That certainly is possible. It would be best not to get too close. Eh, I was just kidding. So, what about here? The courtyard lies beyond these uh, shutters, but they are locked. Freedom is right in front of them, but the shutters are locked up. Life is so cruel. I really feel sorry for them. Who are you feeling sorry for? Just, just feeling sorry. Hey, you there. I'd like to ask you some questions. 
so cute, meow. It really is, meow. Hey, you. Meow. You finally noticed me. By the way, what's this cat's name, meow? His name is Normal. <laughs> meow. That's enough. Carry on with your duties. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh my god. This door leads to the inmates' workroom. What are these workrooms for? Basically, they provide a job training towards the inmates' rehabilitation. We found a dead body in the other workroom, right? Are you sure they really help in the rehabilitation process? Hmm. In order to answer that question, we must uncover the truth as quickly as possible. Ah, I didn't want to click her. Okay. So I don't think it's going to let me, like, look at anything else until I actually talk to the prisoner. So we're going to actually do that. Oh, look. We're going to actually do that next time on this little uh, case of the basis. Till then, though, thank you all for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.